Who's out there, man? This is the Motor Rush Bermuda's only energy station. Vibe with the boy DJ Chubb. Inside right now, man. Things called fitness for people in a hurry. Sorry, Jeff. I'm blessed. I'm alive. I'm here right now. I'm talking to the people. Them, you're here. It's one day, favorite day of the week, and all that. So we can't, we can't even complain. Yeah, no, really, not at all. I had two plans this morning, and one asked me why am I so energetic and happy. I said, look, I had a good weekend, I had a good rest, and I am ready for Monday. It's amazing what good rest will do for you. Bro. Quality it's rest. Amazing what quality. Two celebrities. Which one do you want to hear about first, Job? Hard gainers or weight loss warriors? Let's talk about those weight loss warriors. Let's no, all right. I'm trying to leave some funny little signs. I need to know what, what, what's the, what's the okay. difference you're seeing. Okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about it from the perspective of two celebrities this morning. Celebrity number one is Adele. No, I'm not too sure if you saw it online at any point. I, I'm not too sure when it popped up, but. I was checking out um, some celebrities when I was doing this research and Adele came up on the list and yeah, she lost a whopping, uh, well, allegedly around 90 something pounds. Like it yeah, is, but was she, on a kiddo? A kiddo? She, she was on something called a, a Saturn, a Saturn diet. Like it is basically everyone that's listening is a caloric restrictive diet, like okay. any other diet, like basically they, they took um, a certain types uh, of foods that apparently help these things called sirtuins, um, uh, they're proteins in your body that uh, kind of aids in regulating um, regulating your metabolism, inflammation, and uh, and some experiments lifespan. Uh, but those experiments are done on on mice. <laughs> but right, but right, yeah, right, but right. Es essentially, the these these foods that that are on this sirtuin diet. Uh, basically just allowed her to stay away from a lot of toxic foods as well and they were okay. caloric restrictive and uh, the little bit that she told the general public is that she worked with a personal trainer and she um, basically did Pilates, cardio, etc. and uh, and uh, was, was rigid and, and stuck to that, that caloric restrictive diet. So again, a caloric restrictive diet basically just means that you are eating less than what you need to put out in that particular day. So if you eat, if you typically burn 2,500 calories, you're going to eat around 2,100 calories. And by the end of the week or two weeks, you should lose weight according to, according to that, that basic formula. So that, so Adele, if you, if you um, take a look at it, she had an amazing transformation, an amazing transformation. Uh, kudos to her and her team. Um, no, people are going to sit by and say, Jermaine, she is worth a hundred plus million dollars. She can do whatever she feels like doing. No, right. ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, right? She, she is still a human being. She still exists within the 24 hours that we have in a given day. And she can only eat some certain types of foods like um, cabbage, uh, celery, broccoli, uh, regardless of if you have um, uh, fifty thousand, ten thousand, or a hundred dollars in the bank, it's still gonna cost the same amount of money. Now, <laughs> just dedicate, just dedicate a, a few hours in your week to understanding uh, what foods work best for you. If your budget allows, you can always speak to a dietitian um, when you get your doctor visits to say, "Hey, I've been considering switching up these things. How can it benefit me?" Come with questions when when you reach your medical professionals and um, get some satisfying results or, or answers once you once you leave them. So definitely, definitely take that that um, that route. No, Chubb, I'm gonna go quickly over to the the hard gainers. No, hard gainer and celebrity number two. 
Celebrity number two is Wiz Khalifa. No. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting, right? Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa is six foot four. No, Wiz Khalifa is taller. No, I'm six foot three. Wiz Khalifa is taller than me. And at one point, Wiz Khalifa was 140 pounds. According to him, he was living the rock star lifestyle. Uh, he was just partying, rapping, going to different events. And uh, you know what he does as well. <laughs> the easy young Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Quite a bit. He, oh my goodness! It's a business. It's a business for him, though, quite literally. But uh, yeah, so a hundred. He was one hundred and forty pounds, six foot four, and um, basically that that makes for a very lean individual, a very tall, very lean individual. And uh, essentially, he switched up his lifestyle a little, and um, he he started working out doing mixed martial arts, MMA um, training, and uh, and he gained. He gained uh, 35 pounds. Uh, according, to, according to him, he gained 35 pounds uh, over like two years. And, uh, and two years uh, is supposed to gain 35 pounds. Yeah. I mean, is this metabolism or is this metabolism? His metabolism is, is that of the typical um, hard gain of the lean person, the person that uh, basically, you know, that they just, they just inhale food and then they wake up the next day with not an inch uh, on their waistline. He... He was one of those individuals, and like I said, he he has a crazy lifestyle, a, a hectic um, a hectic schedule. But more importantly, he he um, credits uh, or credits uh, his weight gain to eating consistently, because his his trainer recommended that he one get some quality rest because it does he said that he actually started to rest more, and he said he would set alarms and eat on time because. He said, without that, without those alarms or that schedule, he would not have been eaten as frequently. He said that his appetite wasn't as high and his lifestyle, because he's going from venue to venue and event to event, uh, it was very demanding and, and food wasn't on the number one, well, wasn't a number one priority for him. So it that is that is it, everyone. You have to get in your protein if you want to gain weight. If you're, if you're a lean individual predominantly, uh, and you need to, or you want to gain some muscle mass, you have to consume an, an excess of calories. Yeah. So, yeah, so you, on the flip side, um, so Adele was over there. She was um, controlling, she was having a caloric deficit, a, sm a smaller portions, basically. Wiz Khalifa had to make sure that he had to get an extra meals in order to, to put on that muscle mass. And now people are saying, hey, again, is it that simple? Uh, it is and it isn't. The, the challenging part is the consistency of it all. Literally just being consistent, eating five to six day, um, six meals in a day, um, and making sure you're getting quality protein. Because you can't just eat anything. <laughs> that's true. I mean, that's a Yeah. Yeah, no. So definitely, definitely, you got to get your um your lean meats in. You got to get your plant based protein if you're vegetarian. You have to get in your nuts, your seeds. You, you gotta you gotta um make sure that you get your your lean chicken breast and uh, and supplement if necessary. Supplement when when necessary as well. So definitely, he he was um, he accredits that to um, meal preps. So shout out to, to all those um, services and companies that do it. Um, Dave Wolf, uh, stay ready meals, stuff like that. Like look for people in your our companies and your environment. If your lifestyle is very, very hectic. And again, if your budget allows, you can uh, reach out to some of these companies and they will provide some meals for you so that you can get in your daily intake of protein and calories if you need to gain. So again, my hard gainers, and my uh, weight loss warriors, I, I make sure that you focus on eating just um, enough in order for you to, to be happy and productive if you want to lose weight. And my hard gainers, make sure that you are eating in a surplus of what you would typically eat on a weekly or daily basis in order to gain weight. And Chuck, the last thing I just want to talk about quickly, everyone, uh, we have a, a fun charitable um, event going down this weekend, Saturday at the Bullshead Park parking lot. Uh, basically, we are 
going to have some uh, teams coming together. Uh, there, there are going to be three events, fitness events. Uh, we're going to have a lot of laughter, a lot of smiling, a lot of a lot of good, healthy competition. <laughs> and more importantly, we are sending all the donations and all the proceeds to Meals on Wheels and giving back. So if you want to pass through and participate, uh, if you just want to spectate, if you want to donate, um, that was nice. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, you want, if you want to um, participate, uh, spectate, or donate, definitely you can uh, definitely just uh, reach out to us. Check out uh, check out us on hinds sigstfw dot com um, and find out how you can do that. Like I said, our go directly to Meals on Wheels as well, and um, and you can contribute directly to them. But Saturday eight a.m. Bull's Head parking lot. Uh, if you want to see some good fun, or if you want to participate, you can let us know. That sounds absolutely amazing, Jermaine. I'm talking about it right now, man. Send the things out of the highest site, uh, business and wellness this morning. Of course, on our website, the Bills and Bills, too, where the donations will be made um, for each team that is involved. Um, what's up to those who are coming out fit, strong, ready in the teams and whatnot? But, Jermaine, what I'm going to do right now is allow you to tell people exactly where they can get more of this content, more information. Oh, yes, most definitely. Everyone, if you search for Hindsight FW, so Hindsight with two S's, FW on YouTube, um, you can go directly to our website as well, hindsightfw.com, um, Instagram, and YouTube, and you can find more of these conversations, uh, very interesting conversations uh, with a, a lot of levity and, and, and jovial energy from Chubb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know yep, definitely, definitely. So everyone, keep on tuning in for the rest of the day, and Chubb have an amazing one. You too, man. It's all your money, man. Man, send a big shout out one time to Hunter. I think it's a lot of the corners. Send a big shout out one time to the big time. Chubb and Thomas, one of my high and to you, of course, man. Enjoy your day, man, and have a great one. Thanks. Hindsight, how you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs>